Eli 5 Why can't we just remove greenhouse gases from the atmosphere? Direct air capture is indeed a thing. The real big challenge is where do you put it after you've captured it? Anything in gas form, let's just say that it works until the company stops maintaining its equipment properly, then it's all undone. Sending it to space would create more emissions than it sends to space. So you want to somehow get those gases into a stable solid form, which is much easier said than done. My bets on biochar the plants sufficiently capture atmospheric CO2, and burning it in a specific way can lead to a very carbon-rich char afterwards that won't break down easily. We don't need to jettison it into space we have carbon capture technologies now that can take the excess CO2 out of the atmosphere, convert it to carbon and oxygen, and store the carbon in solid form. The issue, as is typical, is money. Who is going to pay for the construction of these massive carbon capture machines? We release 35 billion metric tons of carbon in the atmosphere every year. We'll need thousands potentially tens of thousands of them to make an impact on our global emissions. That is billions potentially trillions of dollars in investment. The issue is energy. Capturing X tons of carbon dioxide will always require more energy than freeing the same amount by burning fossil fuels could give you. This means the cheapest energy source for this task fossil fuels is useless, because you'd always emit more carbon dioxide than you would be able to capture back. So, successful carbon capture would require you to power your economy mostly with nuclear, solar, wind, or hydro you'd have to have a significant surplus that you would use only for carbon capture. We haven't even achieved the former. We don't have the technology to do that is the first problem. The next one is that just about everything humans do requires energy that releases greenhouse gases which we release all over the plant so the sheer scale of building something if we had the tech would eclipse any other engineering project humanity has performed by an order of magnitude. Third you do need to put them somewhere, tossing the gas into space would just cause the gas to fall back to earth unless you build massive rockets to go really far. There's no way that would ever make sense. The limitation isn't really money or time fundamentally it's that the amount of energy required to capture a unit of CO2 is about 4x the energy release when the fossil fuels. So, to capture a year's worth of CO2 requires that you build out the current energy infrastructure four times over after you have replaced all existing fossil fuel energy sources with renewables. Even if you wanted to just capture one four of a year's CO2 output per year, you still need to build out your energy infrastructure twice. That's just not feasible. We can do it with carbon sequestration and storage, but it isn't easy. Carbon dioxide represents a very tiny portion of the composition of the air. Taking it out requires enormous amounts of energy to move large volumes of air through a system. Often energy comes from bad sources such as coal or gas. As a result, most CSS locations are in Iceland, and take advantage of vast geothermal energy networks. The facilities are also expensive to build and surprisingly are often funded by oil and gas organizations as offsets. Part of the issue is just how little there is in any quantity of air. Nitrogen is at 78, oxygen at 21, that leaves one for everything else. That CO2 and methane that is such a large problem for the planet is still a very 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 small portion of any scoop of air you grab. So while you can try to take it out of the atmosphere. There's a ton of atmosphere and less than 10 kilograms of the bad stuff in that ton. In an ideal situation we would find a better way to cycle through a lot of air very quickly. We produce CO2 in order to generate energy. According to the laws of physics we'd need even more energy to remove the CO2. Therefore it makes no sense to even attempt until all production of CO2 has stopped. We're nowhere even close to that point so any discussion of removing CO2 is very premature. P.S. Even after all burning of fossil fuels has ended it would take a revolutionary new technology to be able to supply enough cheap energy to remove the CO2 from the atmosphere. We can. Carbon capture is a very real thing we can do. But it's expensive and energy intensive. Carbon dioxide is a very low energy form of carbon. To capture it, it has to be transformed into another form of carbon, which almost always means expending more energy. If we ever develop a high-capacity low-cost form of clean energy, then carbon capture is on the table as a technology to implement. But for now, the economics of it are just too unfavorable. When you burn fossil fuels you break chemical bonds. Breaking these bonds releases energy. To pull that CO2 back out of the air, you need to attach those molecules to other molecules. This requires energy. Making them requires more than we get from breaking them. This is why carbon capture is nonsense. 
You can do it, but it's not worth it unless the energy used is almost completely clean. You can't beat thermodynamics, we can just not on the scale that we need for a cost that's acceptable. Think about it you gotta put those 100s of millions of tons of carbon somewhere. In fact, the best way to transform carbon dioxide into a solid is. Photosynthesis plants can literally suck carbon out of our atmosphere and transform it into cellulose and other solid components that make their structure. We need the oxygen from the greenhouse gases, most of which have oxygen attached to them, CO2 the most abundant and N2O. If you jettison them into space, there's less overall oxygen. If you constantly do this you'll throw all of the oxygen out into space because it's attached to the greenhouse gases. That's why other posts are talking about carbon capture technologies for CO2. We have the technology but it's not profitable to anyone to do it or else we would already be doing it. If there's no short-term financial gain, we would just rather die slowly. Shareholder profits are the single most important thing in the universe and we will gladly sacrifice the future of our species and planet to maintain them. You can? But how do they get there to begin with? From energy generation. To remove CO2 from atmosphere you would need a crazy amount of energy, which would create more greenhouse gases. A problem. What we need first is cheap, abundant, clean energy. Once we have that lots of things become technically feasible. A useful frame of reference is the total weight of CO2 produces approximately similar to the weight of all goods moved around in the global economy. So if you can cost effectively capture. Removal would require an apparatus of similar scale to the global logistics infrastructure. It's gonna be tough, it is extremely energetically expensive. Back of the envelope calculation in order to extract the amount of CO2 we generate by burning oil in one year with current direct air capture technology, we need to use an amount of energy equivalent to the one obtained by burning roughly the same amount of oil. You could invent a high-tech self-replicating autonomous machine that uses solar energy and minerals from the soil to absorb CO2 from the air and then transform it into strong, lightweight building materials to sequester carbon for thousands of years. But then you will have invented trees. Scale and efficiency. The removal is on the order of tens of billions of tons just to keep pace and you have to power the removal somehow. There are some more exotic removal ideas but they're either not currently practical, are pretty dangerous or both. How about pulling CO2 out of seawater? Set up some big grids to anchor fast growing kelp. Harvest said kelp at maturity, liquefy it and put it back in old oil fields. Provides fish habitats during growth to help offset costs. We have the tech to do it. It's a matter of engineering to scale it up, and money. Lots and lots of money. Governments would rather spend it killing each other than saving our species. Won't we miss the carbon if we keep sending it to space? We and everything else are by definition, carbon-based life forms. Removing all the carbon from the planet seems like a bad idea. The answer to like 90 of these why can't we? Questions is that we can't, it's a matter of money. Pretty much anything within the laws of physics is possible with enough money. We have a great way of dealing with CO2. Plants. Plants and trees love that shit. There is no climate emergency. There is a master-slave emergency. Ultimately, capitalism caused this problem and capitalism is stopping us from solving it. If there's going to be a future for humanity, it starts there. This idea, carbon capture and storage, is a thing. It's extremely expensive, way more expensive than just foregoing the emissions in the first place. I don't understand why we can't just stick a Brita filter on the end of a vacuum and click on. They only need to be replaced once a month. The gases which are needed to be removed are several thousand feet up and can't be sucked out of the atmosphere or pushed out. We can do it but it takes money and energy, both of which are far better spent reducing emissions than are already happening.